Dear chess friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Ask Avro. Today I have rather surprising topic, a little bit unusual Sicilian, it's called OK Liberation, which goes with e4, c5, knight, f3, and interesting move, a6. Now, I think like there are two categories who might be interested in this material. One, the players who have like maybe positional repertoire against e4, they play either e5, maybe Karakhan, maybe French. And they feel like, well, we need something sharper, we, we need to sharpen our play, we want to play Sicilian, but we are very concerned about massive amount on theory, so we don't know how to approach this. So here's the option for you, it's not very popular, it's rather surprising weapon, and uh, it's not so much theory. Uh, now, and there is a second category that might want this opening to it as a surprising weapon maybe they already play sicilian neither so like nowadays it's very very important uh strategy to surprise your opponent not to allow uh preparation uh, with like 15 20 moves so you might be interested in this material uh, to my great surprise uh i don't think this move had a good reputation but i found it's pretty reliable i i don't see any major issues so it's I mentioned it's a surprising weapon, but I, I think it's pretty interesting and uh, uh, deserves serious attention. Now, as always, I'm coming with a lot of material uh, beyond uh, existing theory. There will be 285 novelties improvements. Uh, so hopefully, as always, my expectation that the, the opening file on my side will take you for many years. Now, this one will be also in category of advanced, uh, of adv in advanced category. So it's, uh, I, I don't have a specific rating for this. So in my opinion, it's fits 1600 and all the way to title players. Uh, obviously everything is like well checked. And as I mentioned before, 285 novelties slash improvements. Now, what is happening after this move A6? Uh, you see a new feature, at least for me, of Lichia, so that will be covered uh, five major moves for white, d4, c4, knight c3, g3, and, uh, and, and of course, uh, everything is covered in details, like, and very deep, as you might know, uh, if you got any of my files on my webpage. So here, I think c4 probably will be the most critical uh, critical move, play Bacchus and Caruana, so I believe that's uh, that's the direction to pay most of the attention. Uh, we go with the, so, so there is a coverage of different moves. So after G3, we have setup, which involves move E5 in order to stop D4. I don't want to transpose to any theoretical lines. I My idea was to make it as independent as possible. Of course, like you can play maybe E6, D6 and eventually D4 will come. But that, that's not my goal, so that's why e5, castle, g6, bishop, g7, knight, e7, well-known setup. Uh, I, I think black is doing pretty well, so everything is covered here. Now, uh, what happens with c3, how we benefit from move a6 in a lapping, which setup we go, we play d5, e5, queen d5, d4, and e6. So, uh, and then, depends on white setup, uh, we either have uh, maybe... We found Keto the bishop b5, bishop b7. Now, very interesting idea after bishop e3. I don't want to take on d4. I want to play knight d7, not to allow very quick knight c3. So, knight d7, maintaining the tension. Uh, after bishop e2, I found very interesting novelty knight e7 with idea knight e5. Absolutely new position. Nobody played like this. I think black is doing pretty well, but it's very complicated. Now, so that's my line against Alapin, uh, uh, Alapin attempt. Now, knight c3, uh, we continue b5. Uh, now, d4, obviously, uh, kind of like critical move here. And after cd4, knight d4, we have bishop b7. And we have some tricky, uh, I would say, like, Taimanov slash Paulsen, Khan. Uh, now, uh, with interesting setups, like, for example, here, after bishop d3, we have g6, bishop g7. Very unusual. So the the it's a it's a lot of interesting absolutely new directions uh, or like there are some lines where like only a few games uh, have been played so that's I believe uh, a, a very nice surprising 
factor nowadays. And uh, finally, we are getting to C4 move, which is obviously uh, critical uh, after... Well, well, one more move. I, I think I, I would like to mention D4, of course, open Sicilia. And so here, basically, we can see our main idea. By the way, uh, there will be, uh, besides knight D4, there will be coverage of Gambit Mora. But in Gambit Mora, A6 is pretty good move for us. So we just uh, get in here and uh, everything will be okay, of course. Now, uh, after CD4, knight D4, we play knight F6, targeting the pawn and our idea idea actually like the the major idea in a6 variation that in this position we play five we don't transpose to Nidorf. uh we play five targeting the bishop and one of the big benefits of this variation that in many lines we can jump out with our dark square bishop so that's a big deal right we like in sicilians we usually have move d6 now, uh, obviously, knight f5 always run into d5, so black is taking over already in this position. Now, I would say that the main move probably knight b3, and we jump bishop b4, and only after bishop d2 or bishop d3 we'll have move d6. And that's pretty co comfortable uh, situation for us, that our bishop is out, uh, we just, let's say, play knight c6, a3. Yes, we, we give up our bishop, but on the other hand, Easy play, like in Sicilians, we are dreaming about d6, d5 break. So here we get, uh, we probably get this, well, at least our major idea. Now, uh, so that was uh, knight c3, e5 idea, so very important, one of the key ideas in our variation. And <clears throat> finally, c4. Now we have to play knight c6, d4 definitely critical. After knight c3, we'll be happy to actually occupy d4 square. So we put our knight on d4, and then there are some interesting variations here uh so also interesting line for white but black i don't think has any issues so after d4 cd4 knight d4 we once again play e5 and the uh, crucial line um now i covered five possible retreats you can see with the arrows now i believe two major ideas now one knight c2 in this case we play bishop c5 hey, once again the idea, the major idea of this opening, we have in critical lines, we have opportunity to jump out with our dark square bishop, something that rarely happens in other Sicilians, or in many cases we can do this, but it's rather not working. After knight c3, we play d6. Now, what, one of the examples here, let's say bishop e2, now interesting move knight d4. Yeah, we have some issues here, obviously, with uh, d6 pawn is backward, but it's hard to attack. Also resembles a little bit Khan variation. Now, of course, d5 square as well, but in return, uh, our bishop is active. Also, in some cases, we have d4 square. Now, main line here, bishop e3, and then we take and uh, we play knight e7 with very easy plan, castle f5, if necessary, knight d4. So, uh, we were talking about knight c2. Now, finally, very critical knight f5, played by both Carlson and Caruana. And here we strike with d5. A fascinated idea. Uh, otherwise, positionally, we are somewhat in trouble. Like, there were a lot of games with d6. I didn't like it. Now, uh, after queen d5, uh, there is very surprising reaction. We play bishop takes f5, e f5, and then we don't trade. We play queen b6. And actually, it's a new move. Nobody played this move uh, before. And we have a lot of initiative with ideas rook d8. Knight before bishop before knight f6. Black is better already. And uh, the main line is cd5, bishop f5, e f5, knight d4. Very unusual position. Very unusual position. White is temporary pawn up, but f5 is falling. And actually, black is not really rushing with this. Like, it's not exactly falling, but I mean, we're gonna attack. And we'll decide, uh, maybe we'll take d5 or 5. So as you can see, many moves covered here. The main line goes bishop d3. We play bishop e7, castle and castle. So important not to rush. So and uh, we'll regain the pawn here. Um, and uh, well, there is line rookie 1, rookie 5. But very interesting. Absolutely. It, it's supposed to be very new position for most of the players who play this position with white. And here, uh, I think a surprising effect might uh, work in your favor. So, <clears throat> uh, interesting line, uh, in my opinion, I was, to be honest, 
very surprised to discover that it's very playable. Uh, I I knew about uh, some somewhat a dubious reputation, but uh, after I worked uh, on this line and uh, collected all the material, I changed my opinion. Uh, now, I would like to mention also very important point that uh, my, my lines are basically high level uh, moves for both sides. Uh, I don't give like, uh, well, sometimes there are some uh, lines where bad moves have been played because they, there have been gains, but if it's improvement or like maybe, well, there are some places where ha we have improvement for white, it's usually good level moves. Hopefully in the game, it, uh, like your opponent, when he faces this surprising idea, it will be not so easy for him to respond. And so it, it's, he's not going to play very strong. So... Uh, Again, uh, for those who are interested, uh, please head over to my webpage ask-abruk.com. You'll find downloadable PGN. And uh, again, I would like to repeat, uh, in the beginning, I was publishing materials for three different levels. Now, this is advanced level for sure. It's very detailed. Uh, if, you, uh, if you decide to play this, uh, my belief it will take you for many years and uh, hopefully you will have a great results at least uh at least for a few games until players kind of like start realizing what is happening start preparing against you but still i think uh i i don't see major issues now if you like my content please don't forget to subscribe click notification better button and of course leave uh, some comments maybe you find some mistakes problems uh, we are all human beings so it's quite possible thanks for watching this video and hopefully i'll see you soon with my new material